So now here, we're given two side lengths and we're asked to find an angle measure and a right angle triangle. We can use our trig ratios once again. Now the first thing we're going to do is identify which sides we're given relative to the angle. And so we're given the side opposite the angle we're asked to determine. And so that's going to be the 18 meters is going to be our opposite side. We're also given the side opposite the right angle. And so that's our hypotenuse. And so if we've got given the opposite and the hypotenuse, we look to Sakatoa to determine which trig ratio we're going to use. And since sine is opposite over hypotenuse, we're going to use sine. So sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That means that sine theta, if we sub in for the values for opposite and hypotenuse, which is 18 over 25, then what we're going to do is we have to get theta by itself. So angle theta, we can use the opposite operation of sine, which is, we can think of that as sine inverse of sine, sine negative 1. And so we're going to do sine negative 1 of 18 divided by 25. And it's important that you know how to use the sum, use your calculator in order to do this. So now the best way to do this is we're going to use brackets. So we're going to put bracket 18 divided by 25. And the keystrokes might be different on your calculator, but you're going to have to play around with it and figure out which uh, way you input the numbers. So 18 over 25 is point, 0 0.72. And we're going to cl click uh, second function, sine negative 1, and we get 46.05. And to the nearest degree, we'd round this to 46 degrees. So your next question wants you to find angle theta here, given the side lengths 9 meters and 5 meters, and I want you to round the value of theta to the nearest degree.